Hello, my dear grade 7 students. I hope that you are okay and were able to answer all the needed written tasks and performance tasks for our week 1 and 2. Why? Simply because we are now on the quarter 2, week 3 of our lessons for nail care. Still, I'm your teacher, Mrs. Lore A. De Venos. So for this week, we're about to discuss standard cleaning procedures of nail care tools and equipment. So for the objectives, identify the standard procedures in cleaning nail care tools and differentiate sterilization from sanitation. Letter B, demonstrate or show the proper cleaning of nail care tools according to standard procedures. Letter C, appreciate the importance of performing the correct standard procedure in cleaning nail care tools. So, what is the difference between sterilization and sanitation? Once we say sterilization, is the process of destroying all living microorganisms, while sanitation is the process of destroying some but not all microorganisms. Halimbawa, kapag sinabi natin sterilization, you are going to make use sterilizer. So, may machine kang gagamitin, ilalagay mo lahat doon ang nail care tools or implement. Maiinitan sila ng to the max. So, you destroy all living microorganisms. Samantala kapag sinabi natin yung sanitation, parang nilagyan mo lang siya ng alcohol for example. So, there is a big difference between the two process. So, I hope you understand. Sterilization and sanitation techniques are being practiced in the beauty salon which involve the use of physical agents like hydration and chemical agents like antiseptics and vapor fumigants. So yun ang sinasabi ko pa din na, diba? Ah, ginagamit siya sa beauty salon, yun nga lang, may mga agents pa silang ginagamit. Okay, next. How do disinfectant differs from antiseptic? Kapag sinabi natin ang disinfectant, this is a substance used to control microorganisms on non-living surfaces such as tools, equipment, and other furniture and fixtures. So, disinfect mo lang siya. Samantalang ang antiseptic, is an agent that prevents the multiplication of microorganisms. This is milder than a disinfectant which can be used directly on the skin. So can you give example of antiseptic that we used nowadays no? directly on our skin? Who has an idea? So we have alcohol. So alcohol is considered as antiseptic. Mas mild siya kesa sa disinfectant. Okay, let's proceed. Every working session, the following task should be done. Letter A, tools which are made of plastic should be kept clean and sanitized properly in preparation for the next patron. So, wag na wag kayong gagamit ng mga uh, tools na hindi mo na nalilinis at nasasanitize bago gamitin sa panibagong costume. Next, empty bottles and containers are discarded in a covered trash bin. So kapag wala nang laman ng bote or ang container, itatapon sa basurahan na may takip. Next, used treatment products and other chemicals are stored, arranged, and properly labeled in the cabinet. Bakit kaya? Nang sa ganon, hindi tayo magkamali paggagamitin natin ulit. Alam natin kung ano ang ating kukunin. Next, finger bowls must be sanitized before use of every client. So, finger bowls. Una akong gumamit, may gagamit after sa akin, isasanitize mo na yun. Next, the hand and foot spa machines must be flushed with a solution of about 5% bleach and circulate the liquid through the system for at least 10 minutes. So, yun. Ano ba yung bleach? No? 
Alam nyo na kung ano yung bleach. So, gagamitan nyo muna ng ganon ang hand and foot, foot spa bago ipagamit sa susunod na customers. For 10 minutes, so ibababad nyo muna yun. Next, leave the solution in the hand and foot spa machines overnight for at least 5 to 10 hours before draining the machines so that they are thoroughly sanitized. So, kung ginamit sa maghapon, sa gabi, siguraduhin na ibinabad ito sa solution. Overnight or mag na mag. Next, table tops and door handles are wiped with disinfectant and the floor should be mopped with disinfectant as well. Especially nowadays, na meron tayong uh, kinakaharap na virus na hindi natin nakikilala. Hawakan ng doorknob, ibabaw ng lamesa, at kung ano pa yan, dapat lagi siyang dinidisemfen. Metal tools and instruments must be sterilized following proper sterilization techniques. After the process, is stored in a dry cabinet until needed. So, yun. Diba? Ginamit. Hugasan, sterilize, then, Pag natuyo, itatago sa cabinet. Tools and implements which are made of porous materials such as nail files, buffers, nail brushes, and orange wood sticks can harbor bacteria easily. So, madali daw silang maka-acquire yung nail file na ginagamit sa kuto. Alam ko na nakikita nyo doon at meron din minsan sa bahay natin. Madali pala silang makakuha ng uh, bakterya. Kaya, ito daw ay hindi na pwedeng gamitin ulit. So, ibig sabihin, this item are considered as disposable. So, since they are wood products which cannot be sterilized, their tools should not be reused. So, hindi na siya pwedeng gamitin ulit since made up of woods at hindi pwedeng sterilize Why? Kasi metals lang ang pwedeng sterilize Okay, let's proceed. Waste materials which should be disposed properly in an enclosed waste bin fitted with polythene bag. The bin should be sanitized with disinfectant regularly in a well-ventilated area. Remember to wear protective gloves while doing this. So, magtatapon kayo ng waste products or materials from your beauty salon in a trash bin na may nakalagay na sa pin or yung kulay itim na uh, bag. Tapos, pag inaayos nyo yun at the end of the day, siguraduhin natin na sa labas at tayo ay nakalabs. Okay, next. Contaminated waste should be disposed of as recommended by local authority. Next, any tool or equipment in poor condition must be repaired immediately or disposed properly so as not to pose danger to the client as well as the beautician. So, binanggit na natin ito kanina, di ba? Or the previous lesson maybe, that before you use any equipments, you have to check it first if it is in a good condition. So, once you see that the tool or equipment is in a poor condition and cannot be used anymore, you have to dispose that right away. So, that's all for our week 3. Please don't forget to answer the learning task in page 9 and of course, the tagubilin in your WHLP. Congratulations everyone!